good day today, great interest. Well, this is a wee bit different at a reenactment event. There's a bit more stuff going on. We had some ladies uh, sewing and knitting beside us, and uh, we were on the edge of the uh, camp here. I have a grinding wheel here, which the guys would have put an edge on their swords on. It does fit in and it works in with the reenactment events. I'm Clive Little. I work out of Port of Ferry, out north of Port of Ferry. We have a studio on a a small holding, so we grow a lot of our own timber, a lot of our own willow for our work on site and harvest and then turn it into product. So whether it be the greenwood turning we were demonstrating today or a basket making or sculpt large willow sculptures, it can be any of those things and more furniture, uh, you name it, out of wood we, we will probably do it or know somebody who does if we don't do it. Just traditional craftsmen but multi-talented, multi-skilled, not just sticking, so I'm not just a joiner, I'm not just a, a wood turner, I'm not just a basket maker, it's, I enjoy working with my hands, so I, I'm happy to have a go at everything. I thatched the roundhouse last year. We have a large uh, commission for a, a Dexter Bull for a farm shop, so that's our latest commission, that's our latest project at the minute, next few months, that'll keep us busy. We reckon that basket making is the oldest craft known to man. The thatching project I spoke about that was an Iron Age roundhouse so I've built, I've built an Iron Age roundhouse, I've built an early Christian roundhouse and I think I've built a Bronze Age roundhouse so those were commissions for council, they're big commissions. There's a lot of interest around that. We've one big log basket here which was made in Dublin a couple of years ago at an event like this so that was my weekend work was that was that large log basket. Well, sort of a day and a half, a good day, eight or nine hours, I'd say, to make something like that from start to finish. That's only the weaving, then you've got to prepare the materials so that they'd be done a week ahead. The willow store dry, put into water, submerged, held down, and so a, a six foot piece of willow will take approximately six days to soak. So you're always working at least a week ahead of yourself. Kirkcobin was famous for lace. Portaferry was obviously boat, boat building and, and so there was a woodworking tradition in Portaferry and they do have the, the racing boats that they now have, although they're of, they're of Scottish design. Boat building seems to be kind of resurfacing again. I know a few people working on those sort of projects. We have a lot of arts and crafters on the peninsula, it's renowned for it, so when we found our, our place there, we, were, we found the right place 21 years ago when we moved. So we moved into the right area. Well, we have an event once a year. Or maybe twice a year there is a, there's a Christmas market in Ards which would be relating to the Creative Peninsula which is the event that the local council would host and it coincides now with um, August Craft Month.